Happy Monday morning. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, we have a three month old uh, yellow lab uh, that we take out, oh, probably about 5, 530 every morning. And you can definitely tell fall is on the way. It's hard to believe that we're at the end of August already. Um, but uh, super excited for fall. I think it'll be a great fall. Um, hopefully weather wise, we get the leaves changing. just a great, great time of year, my favorite time of year. Um, so as we kind of end this summer here, um, a topic that I talk about a lot um, is uh, preparation. And it, it, it's whether you're buying or selling, there are things that you can do to be in the best position possible to make everything a lot smoother than um, you know some transactions that I've had where maybe we did not prepare the best. Um, and that has to do um, whether you are buying or selling, but a lot of it um, intertwines because um, there are people that uh, want to buy a property, but then also need to sell a property. Um, and so there's things that you can do along the way. Um, and, and we'll start with with selling a property. Like if you're if you're looking to sell a property, um, I, I think the biggest thing to prepare for is the mindset and the overwhelming mental capacity that a transaction takes. And it's it's different for everybody. Some people can you know, say, yep, we're going to we're going to sell our property and move on. Um, and they go through the process and it's it's super easy for them. But then there are people that struggle with it. They've come to the reality that, yep, we're going to sell and make a lifestyle change. Um, but we're not quite ready to actually do that. Um, I've had people they've struggled with it back and forth honestly, for years. I think the longest I've seen was three years um, where I met with them and they go, yeah, we want to sell it. We want to move on and do all this. But there were things that were holding them back. And a lot of it was just the mental um, connection to the property. They didn't want somebody to come in and change the property or do anything like that. They honestly didn't want people to even know that they wanted to sell. Um, and so that was a, a three-year process that it took them to actually um, hammer down and say, yep, we're going to actually do this. And so it is different for everybody. I would say there's really, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. Like you have to go through your ups and downs and your judgments and your reactions. Um, but I think the biggest thing is like when you, you come to that realization, just know like when the property goes on the market that, yep, this is what we're doing. Um, we're, we're, we're in it, we're committed. Um, and I, I know that's a big thing for people to kind of digest, like having all of their home basically online and people can see it and there's people coming through and looking at how they've lived for how many years. Um, and so it's a big thing. And so I totally get that. Um, but like I said, there's the best thing that I've seen is to kind of align mentally with, OK, this is what we're going to do. And it sometimes is easy as just like talking to someone like me, maybe there's an attorney that they trust. Maybe there's a one family member. I don't recommend talking to 15 different family members because you'll get 15 different answers. Um, but talk that stuff through and get it all out there. Um, I've had a couple um, properties where we were going to list and we met two or three times just to talk about the property itself, the process, um, all that stuff to, to get prepared for it. So it's not just the property that needs to be prepared. It's the client that needs to be prepared. And so feel free um, to reach out to me if you have um, any questions about selling so that you can be in the best mental space because you want to be sharp and clear uh, when an offer comes in to make a good decision um, that's right for you um, and, and just be in, in the moment um, so that you can make the best decision for yourself. Um, on the buying side, kind of the same thing. Um, you know, if, you, if you're looking to, to move from one property to the next or buy your uh, second property or a hunting property or whatever, your first property, um, being committed to the process. And for other people, it can look different. Some people like to keep a printed diary of every property they've looked at, what they've liked about properties, what they've hated about properties. Others just like to uh, go into a property, yay or nay. If it's a yay, maybe they'll put in an offer. If it's a no, we're never going to come back to that property at all. Um, and so just having kind of that um, preparation, like, yep, we're going to take this seriously. Um, that usually starts with getting 
um, a pre-approval letter, uh, a proof of funds ready saying, yep, we're, we're ready to go on the financial side, because that is the biggest hurdle, I think, um, to overcome is just being financially ready um, to have everything um, to the lender. Uh, if you're paying cash, it's a lot easier, but you might have it in three different accounts. So maybe you transfer that money um, to a, a one account that you can easily access. And maybe you do have a, a property that you want to move on from. And so having that property ready um, to hit the market the moment that you reach an accepted offer, if it's contingent on that, um, is super huge. Um, and that will that will make the mental space and the checklist that you mentally keep in your head a lot shorter and a lot easier to cross off. Um, and so those are just kind of the ways that um, I think about the process. Like I said, I think it's I think it's mostly mental um, because if the physical side of it, especially when you're when you're buying is just looking at properties and finding one that fits and that can be mentally draining as well, especially now when we're in a lower inventory market. Um, it's just like you wake up and there's no new properties to look at or you put in offers and you didn't get the property like that stuff is just absolutely mentally draining. Um, so to just kind of stay mentally sharp, um, it, it's just you got to you got to have that pep talk. And I can be somebody that can can help you with that is, you know, you don't get too high. You don't get too low through everything. Um, take everything into perspective, be in the moment um, and just enjoy it because it is a chapter of your life to, to buy and sell real estate um, and just know that, you know, you don't you don't do it every day. So so relish in everything because it is it is supposed to be fun and not so stressful. Um, but I get that it is like, obviously, I do it every day. Um, so just be in the moment. Hopefully there's things that we can do to be mentally clear and sharp and enjoy everything because like I said, it is supposed to be fun. So um, I think the key is are in the preparation. If you need any help with that preparation, please reach out to me, schedule a call. Um, let's just hop on a phone call and talk. Let's go grab a cup of coffee or, or maybe we grab some lunch, um, anything I can do to help. Um, so I hope that does help as far as being prepared. Have a great week. Um, we're, let's start um, September strong here in the next couple of days. And I hope you have a great week and we'll talk to you soon.